Welcome to Medical Spanish with Michael. I'm Michael, an experienced medical interpreter and tutor that wants to teach you medical Spanish. It's relatively straightforward to uh, memorize anatomy terms in Spanish, but it's not quite as easy to think about all the phrases that you need when you want to conduct a physical exam with a patient. For example, if you're checking a patient's tonsils, would you know how to say, stick your tongue out and say, ah? Or if you want to check a patient's thyroid, would you know how to tell them to tilt their head back and swallow? If not, then keep watching this video to learn these phrases and many other useful ones to learn how to conduct a head and neck exam in Spanish. So we're going to start off with some general phrases. And as you already know, one of the most important things to do at first is to tell the patient what you would like to do and then to get their consent. Um, so in order to say, I would like to do a physical exam, uh, you can say, me gustaría hacer un examen físico. I would like to do a physical exam. Uh, and then you could say, if you're okay with that, which is, si usted está de acuerdo, literally, if you're in accordance with that, si usted está de acuerdo, or if that's too long, then you could say, si está bien, if it's okay, if it's fine. So again, we have two options. The first one is we could say, uh, me gustaría hacer un examen físico si usted está de acuerdo. Or the second option, which is me gustaría hacer un examen físico si está bien. Uh, the first option is a little bit more proper and the second option is just shorter, easier to memorize. So feel free to take your pick. And then another good phrase you can use in general uh, is to say if you want to inspect something specifically, you could say, quisiera inspeccionar, and then add the body part that the patient wants to, or that the patient um, needs to get inspected. So for example, if it's the neck, you could say, uh, quisiera inspeccionar el cuello. Um, so you just add the, audio, the body part after that phrase. And also, some of us have uh, cold hands, uh, poor circulation, so you might need to use a phrase like, uh, tengo las manos frías, which is, I have cold hands. Uh, you could say, I'm sorry, lo siento. Uh, and then if you're trying to warm up your hands, you could say, voy a calentarme las manos. Voy a calentarme las manos. That means I'm going to warm myself up, specifically my hands. And now talking about the eyes, which are los ojos. Um, if you want to say, I'm going to shine a light in your eyes, you can say, voy a alumbrar los ojos. I'm going to illuminate your eyes, is what it literally translates to. And then if you need the patient to look at a specific point, uh, then you can say, podría usted mirar? And then just say whatever the object is that you want them to look at. So for example, if it's like a clock on the wall, you could say, ¿Podría usted mirar el reloj? And then you point at the object and then um, they will know to look directly at that object. And now um, when you get to the ears, uh, there's actually two ways to say ears in Spanish. So they have la oreja or the plural is las orejas, which refers to the external ear, the outer ear. And then they also say el oído, or plural is los oídos, to refer to the inner ear. So when you go to examine them, you'll probably want to say, um, necesito examinar los oídos. I need to examine your inner ears. And uh, if that's a little bit too long for you, then what you could also say is now the ears, or excuse me, now the inner ears. So all you would say is ahora los oídos. Ahora means now. Uh, and just make sure the H in ahora is silent. It's not ahora, it's ahora. Ahora los oídos. And now talking about the nose, uh, which is la nariz, 
la nariz. Uh, you can say, necesito examinarle la nariz, which is, I need to examine your nose. And then when you get to the nasal sinuses, you can say, los senos nasales, los senos nasales. Um, senos, if you say that um, just without nasales, uh, depending on the context, it can be understood that you're talking about the sinuses, but it also means breasts. So um, I would say just on the safe side, you can say los senos nasales. And uh, as we learned last time, to say now the sinuses, you just say ahora los senos nasales. And if you need to press on their sinuses, then you can say, I'm going to press, which is voy a presionar. And then if it's the forehead, you say en la frente, or the cheekbones, en los pómulos. So I'm going to press on the forehead and the cheekbones. You would say, voy a presionar en la frente y en los pómulos. And to say, let me know if you have any pain, you would say, me avisa si tiene algún dolor, which is literally, um, you let me know if you have any pain. Me avisa si tiene algún dolor. Or a simpler version, you could just say, le duele, which is, does that hurt? Does that hurt you? Le duele. And now, when you want to inspect their mouth, uh, to tell them to open their mouth, you can say, abra la boca. To remember, abra is um, from the verb abrir, to open. I like to usually think about like abracadabra, open sesame. Um, it sounds kind of silly, but hopefully it'll help you remember. Um, abra is open, so abra la boca. And oftentimes you might need to say a little bit more, uh, which is un poco más, a little bit more. And then you could say please after that, por favor. So un poco más, por favor. And to tell the patient to stick out their tongue, you can say saque la lengua, which is literally take out your tongue. Saque la lengua. And if you need the patient to move their tongue from side to side, then you can say, muévala de un lado al otro, which literally translates to move it from one side to the other. Muévala de un lado al otro. And when you want the patient to say, ah, you can say, diga, ah, diga, ah. And then to have them repeat, you can say, Otra vez, which means again. So, diga a, and then otra vez, otra vez. And then, when you want to do a thyroid check, uh, we could say, I would like to inspect the thyroid. Um, based on what we've learned so far in the video, can you think about how you would say, I would like to inspect? I would like to inspect. If you're thinking, me gustaría, inspeccionar, and then thyroid is la tiroides, then you're correct. So, me gustaría inspeccionar la tiroides. And to tell the patient to tilt their head back, uh, you can say incline la cabeza, which is tilt your head, incline la cabeza. And to say towards the back, you would say hacia atrás hacia atrás. So um, it's important to pronounce it uh, with the stress on that first syllable for the word hacia um, and not hacia, which is actually a verb and not the preposition. So hacia, hacia atrás. Or it might be simpler to say um, lift your chin, which is suba el mentón. Suba el menton. So you can take your pick with those two as well. And to tell the patient to swallow, you can say trague, trague por favor. And if you need them to do it again, do you remember how to say again? If you're thinking it is otra vez, then you'd be correct. So you can say trague, 
otra vez. And then if you want to say, uh, do you have any difficulty swallowing? Then you can say, tiene alguna dificultad al tragar? Literally, do you have any difficulty upon swallowing? Tiene alguna dificultad al tragar? And then to ask the pain, uh, excuse me, to ask the patient if they have any pain, then you could say, le duele al tragar? Does it hurt while swallowing? Le duele al tragar? And then at the end of the exam, uh, if you want to say everything is all right, you could say, todo está bien. Uh, or if you want to say everything is normal, you could say, todo está normal. Um, if there's a problem with the exam, then you can say, hay un problema con, which is, there is a problem with, and then you would say whichever body part um, there's a problem with. For example, if it is the thyroid, um, do you remember how to say thyroid? You would say, hay un problema con la tiroides. Hay un problema con la tiroides. Or if you want to say, I noticed that, then you would say, he notado que, and then you would share the rest of your findings. All right, well done. I hope you were able to learn something that you can use with your next Spanish speaking patient. If you're interested in practicing your pronunciation, then I've left a link in the description below um, for you to contact me and then schedule a lesson. Uh, great job though. I'll see you in the next video again, otra vez, and nos vemos.